Hey, this is Dr. Popular. Welcome to another episode of Postagram Tips, where we talk about tips and tricks for mobile photography. Today, we're going to talk about one of the, the giants of mobile photography, Instagram, uh, which is a uh, mobile photo sharing application. Uh, I think of it mostly as a way to be able to see what your friends are posting. Some other people think of it as a filter app. It's sort of a combination of both. So let's talk about some of the basic ideas of uh, how to get the most out of Instagram for both new and advanced users. Let's start with taking a photo from within the app. Uh, you hit the center camera button and you're gonna be taken to a square viewfinder. Now this is really handy because all the images on Instagram are square. Another great thing about shooting from within Instagram is it actually gives you previews of the filters. In order to see those, you just tap on the lower right hand corner to make your filters pop up. And you're gonna actually see how it looks with the vignetting and everything in real time. Uh, when you find your shot that you like, you just hit the camera button, just as you expect you would. Luckily, uh, you're not stuck with that one filter. You can actually still even change your filters. The Lux button is actually gonna give you more details. It actually brings out parts of the photo, makes it more interesting. On the top left-hand corner, I have a frame button, have that white border in Sierra, or turn it off. The water drop uh, on the top right is what they call tilt shift. Now this is gonna give you the idea that uh, certain parts of your image are in focus and others are kind of out of focus. So basically this is within a certain depth and this is beyond that depth. Now if I like that, uh, I can hit the green arrow to move on to the next step. So I'm gonna accept this photo. Now I can leave a caption uh, location with geotagging and set all your sharing preferences. Now I really recommend using geotagging. There's a really cool thing that once your image is posted, uh, when you have a location, if you click on that location, you can see all the other photos taken from that location. It's a really awesome feature to have. You can also write a caption and do hashtags or mention uh, other usernames. These are also going to have a similar effect to geotagging. So if you take a picture of uh, at doc pop, uh, and you write at doc pop, then people can click on that and they'll be taken to my profile. So once you've started using Instagram and you're wanting to find ways to connect with more users, there's a couple tools that you have at your disposal. One is that on the bottom right hand corner, you have find friends button or invite friends. Uh, find friends can be connected to uh, your contact list on your phone. Uh, it can be connected to your Facebook or whatever else you have connected socially. Uh, that's a great way to just kind of populate with your own friends. But let's say you want to kind of use Instagram as a tool to be able to reach other photographers and find out what they're doing. Well, uh, I'll tell you from firsthand experience that most Instagrammers I know always have a couple people that they recommend. So feel free to ask your friends who they, should, who they recommend following. Uh, but something else you can do is actually taking part in, uh, in hashtags uh, in trying to kind of uh, take part in some of the community that's already there. You can double tap your screen to like an image, and that's, that's a really cool feature. It's actually really addictive. I find myself wanting to do this in all apps, like Twitter and whatever, and, and unfortunately Instagram's the only one has it, but it's just really nice to just scroll through, and when you see an image you like, just double tap, and you know, sometimes liking an image is nice, but you know, if you really go to the extra mile, leave some, leave some feedback. This is the best way where you can help somebody else become a better photographer and learn about what they're doing, and hopefully, if you do this, people will kind of follow suit. So to see your comments that you've gotten, you just hit the word balloon with the heart on the bottom of the screen. That's your news feed. That's gonna show you everything that's come in on photos that you've taken or mentions that you've had. Now, the natural tendency is to just write a reply to them. But the thing is, they won't see those replies unless they're on their photos. If you see that, that user's name in, in a comment, if you hold your finger down on it, it'll ask you if you want to mention that user. So hit yes, it'll automatically fill itself in there. So all you have to do is write the comment. But remember, it's very important to have the at reply in there. Otherwise, people will never get to see the, uh, the feedback you're leaving them. If you click on the following button on the top left, you'll be able to see the following, uh, all of your friends who they're commenting and who they're liking on. Now, this is a great way to kind of spread that web out. You know, I suggest following some people that you don't know and you know you can always unfollow later it's not a personal thing on Instagram there's also the popular page uh, which is the star on the bottom if you click on that 
you'll get to see what's popular at the moment. You can always hit refresh to see how that changes and see what other objects come up. The way you get on the popular page is actually some complex secret algorithm based on how many people you're following and how many people are following you and how many likes you've gotten and how close together those likes were. So once you've gotten into the experience of Instagram and you're kind of hooked, a great next step is to try to meet some people in real life. If you live in a big city, chances are there's gonna be an Insta walk nearby. Insta walks are photo walks that happen uh, with real time posting to Instagram. It's a really fun experience hanging around, you know, five to 20 people who are all taking photos of the same thing and you get to see as you're walking different perspectives of the same object. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I hope you like Instagram as much as I do. I actually got into mobile photography because of Instagram and you know, be interactive, participate, like other people's photos, leave good comments, helpful comments, and the, the same will come back to you. So you'll get a lot out of it. Send us postagrams of your Instagram shots. We love seeing what you guys do. We'll try to show some of our favorites on future videos. So thanks for watching again, Dr. Popular. Instagram. Postagram. At Dr. Pop. Hashtag. Hashtag ending. <laughs>